Hello everybody, my name is Simon Johnson, I'm from Mill Hill Sixth Form in Derbyshire, and today I'm going to explain to you the concept of a regenerative brake. Now you may well have heard of a regenerative brake before, they're also known as CURS, the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, and in short it's a system which recovers kinetic energy that would have been lost during braking, converts it into electrical energy and then stores it for later use as a power boost. Some of the main components of a CURS system include an MGU, a motor generator unit, this is a close-up of an example from Formula One, and this acts like a dynamo, it converts the kinetic energy from the engine and drive shaft into electrical energy and stores it in these battery packs, also known as an ultra capacitor. This is preferable over a system, another system known as a flywheel, because a flywheel has a degree of friction involved in it and that will eventually result in some of the energy being lost. Moving on to a simple line drawing of the system, this is the back axle of a Formula One car with the tyres, the differential, the drive shaft, the engine, the MGU and the storage unit. Now, energy is lost in three ways during braking. Thermal energy, brakes can oxidise up to 1000 degrees C. Sound energy, when the brakes occasionally squeal. And light energy, because brakes will glow under braking. The energy is, the kinetic energy goes through the drive shaft and is stored in the storage unit and at the flick of a switch the energy, the whole system can be reversed and the energy comes from the storage unit is dumped straight into the MGU through a small gearbox which regulates the turning power of the drive shaft through the engine and gearbox and into power the uh, rear axle. Moving on to uh, other uses, this is a, in most sport, this is a close-up of a Ferrari Formula One car with the uh, curse warning as there are electrical dangers associated with, with the system. It's quite powerful at 60 kilowatts or approximately 80 horsepower. It currently has uses in overtaking but from 2014 will provide uh, a, a green solution to Formula One, increasing fuel efficiency by 35%. In terms of road cars, the system already has its uses. This is a concept car from Ferrari known as the F12. This is a conventional internal combustion engine as well as a fully integrated curse unit. More everyday examples include a Toyota Prius or Aris. However, instead of providing a power boost, this is used to charge the battery in the hybrid motor. Moving on to electric railways, most trains nowadays uh, are electrified and when a train has to stop for a station, all of the uh, conventionally all of the kinetic energy is lost. By using a curse system some of this energy can be stored to help acceleration out of the station and thereby reduce electricity bills. Okay, that's, thank you very much.